So you've taken some time, you know, contact him back if you need time. I mean, if you were able to say, well, I can give you $50 a month or something like that, then do that. But some bigger things, you you have to sit and look at your finances and see what you can do. Um, let them know when you're going to get back to them. Usually, you know, tell them it, it'll be a week, maybe two. You know, just give them a date that you're going to get back to them by. Take their information. And look at your stuff. See what you got going on. See what port your boat is in. And um, get back in touch with them. Offer them. Make the, um, make the offer. Under promise, over deliver. So... What I mean by that is if your bill is $1,000 and of course they want you to pay $1,000 today and you're unable to pay $1,000. They say, okay, well, we'll settle it out for 500 and you're unable to pay that 500. And if you say, well, um, then they say, usually they're authorized to do, okay, you could do 250 this month or you can do 250 for the next four months. Let's say you're unable to do that. Let's just say your rubber band is just that tight. You know, use that terminology or something just as silly, just to break the tension. And um, tell them, um, give me, give me a couple of weeks. Let me see what I can do. Because if you were able to find some ghost dollars, you know, assistance. And maybe, maybe you pick up a little hustle somewhere, you know, go help somebody move and get a hundred dollars there. I don't know. I don't know what your situation is, but, um, you know, the stress of living under that is, it's just hurtful and the embarrassment and the self-hate talk. I mean, it's, you know, yes, I'm tired, but I wanted to get this video out. Let me move on. So if you make a payment plan and they're unable to go with that payment plan, they're still going to have to um, continue active collections. And just, just answer the phone whenever they call. They're, Hi, this is so-and-so, blah, 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 la, 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 la. And then, you know, what can you do? Well, you know, I'm still in that situation. I can't do, you know, I'm not able to see that. Okay, see you later, see you later, bye. Now. If they're unable to do the payment plan that you suggested, make what I call good faith payments. And what every time that they see and they call on your account, they can, you know, they'll have a note, hey, unable to do payment, you know, this payment plan was offered. They're unable to do it, but they'll send the notes and in the notes, $20 payment, $50 payment, but it'll show that you are at least you're recognizing the debt and you're chipping at it. And by doing that, what sometimes will happen is when they're calling you, sometimes they'll want to get it off their books and so that, you know, take it out of the active collections and they'll offer you a payment plan that's better for you, that works better. So just be diligent and, and stick to your guns. Don't make a payment plan that you cannot keep. You do not want to do that. And like I said, when making a payment plan, under promise, over deliver. So if you can pay $100, promise them $75 or $50. If you can pay it by the 15th of the month, tell them the 20th. That gives you a little wiggle room if something unexpected happens. Now, if you have a payment plan, and let's just say your car breaks down, or something happens and, and your income gets uh, affected negatively, call them, let them know. Say, this is, wh is what has happened, and I'm unable to make the payment on this date. I will make it on this date. That way they have something to put in the notes and it, it, it looks really good. looks like you, um, it, it shows them that you're really being serious 
and you're kind of developing a rapport with for a person if it has to go on that long it has to go on that long now um they're depending on what area you're in if it's like in washington if it's medical bills you know those don't hit your credit and usually um usually before um before those go to collections um your doctor's office or whatever medical provider will be trying to you know make make arrangements with you find out what you can do with that and find out how long you can stretch that out um if it's a situation like i i knew someone who had a situation where a vehicle was stolen and they turned it in a year later they were advised that the vehicle had been found but had been sitting in impound and legally they were obligated to pay now that was twelve hundred dollars that they did not have and so they just made payments um one thing you definitely, definitely, definitely need to do is make sure that you take care of you. And that means that um, set yourself a goal. If you got five different bills out there, you get one paid off, you know, give yourself a little treat. You know, maybe go to a movie, maybe go out to dinner, you know, maybe do, you know, just do something. And, you know, as you get in the rhythm of getting these down, then you're going to have a bunch of extra money. Extra money is always good. You know, plan on maybe um, something big to buy yourself and save for it. And then it's like, you know, because once you've gotten yourself into a payment plan, what will happen is your budget will fall along. It's kind of like you can be used to living on a thousand dollars a month and then every time you get a raise it gets incorporated into your budget <laughs> okay so you know keep an eye on your expenses um, with utilities you know most utility companies will have a discount program uh, same with uh, uh, cable or things like that depending on your circumstance so definitely ask them about it and um, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, support a sister like and subscribe and please send me comments and let me know what you think let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about uh, peace love and happiness be good to yourself and others